It has been 21 years since the nanny signed off of the air. The show and its star Fran Drescher still, though, bringing us laughs. Two decades later, new audiences all over cable. Just turn it on, and there's Fran. And now Fran is making us feel good again in a Lifetime Christmas movie called A Christmas Setup. Fran's character sets her son, Hugo, up with his high school crush when he returns home for the holidays. Let's watch. So tell me, how'd last night go? Mom, I don't need you meddling in my social life. I'm not 16. Okay, I just thought that, you know, he's so handsome and smart and rich. We don't even live in the same time zone. Oh, okay, okay, forget about it. You'll never hear me mention Patrick Ryan again. Oh. Patrick Ryan, Patrick Ryan, Patrick <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Hi, Fran, how are you? Hi, good morning. How are you both? Look at you, you ray of sunshine. Before we get to the movie and we want to get into it, I did, I was unaware of this fact, Fran, that there is an entire Instagram page dedicated solely to the outfits that what? Fran wore on the nanny. Yeah, it's called What Fran Wore. Oh, yeah. 300,000 followers. What? Fran, <laughs> did you know this? Oh, of course. There's a nanny art page where... Uh, the uh, museum curator compares all of my clothes to fine art. <laughs> it, it's really quite remarkable. There are tons of millennials that are obsessed with the show today, and they were either young children when it was originally airing or not even born yet. And so I feel very grateful that the show continues to be so beloved, so popular. And of course, now we're doing the Nanny musical for Broadway. So it's uh, it's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> and tell us about the musical. I think Hoda and I both yes. miss, so many people miss the great white way. So what? it's probably so much fun to come up with this right now. Yeah, well, for Peter and I, uh, who created the show and executive produced it, um, it's a joy for us to be able to write the show again. It's been many years since we've done an original script for it. And it's exciting also because you have the opportunity to kind of uh, break out of the small box and use your imagination to create a world that's even in a way bigger and able to do more amazing things than you could have ever done just on television. So uh, we're really enjoying it. I mean, you know, now Mr. Sheffield has a whole staff, so there's big <laughs> mm -hmm. musical numbers with upstairs and downstairs maids <laughs> and uh, you know, we never really saw the show within the show mm -hmm. that he was always producing. But in this, of course, because he's a Broadway producer, we're going to see a little bit of the Broadway show. <laughs> That's pretty oh, awesome. Cool. Hey, Britt, let's talk about this movie, um, Mama Matchmaker. Uh, <laughs> did this thing appeal to you just right from the script, right from the jump? Uh, yes, actually it did, because I was in lockdown for five months, basically, leaving the house very rarely. Uh, and uh, and then suddenly I got off of this script, and they said, uh, you know, if you want to do it, we shoot in Canada, and you have to leave in a week because you have two weeks of quarantine. And so I had to get... I. It was such a feel-good movie, and it normalizes having a gay child, which to me is a breakout. And uh, I'm very proud to be part of such a distinguished uh, movie because I've always gone to the mat for gay civil liberties anyway. And so it's lovely to see that uh, networks like Lifetime are mm -hmm. beginning to normalize this and represent a large population as they really are. So um, I'm thrilled about that. It's It doesn't have anything really to do with being gay, except for the fact that the romantic lead couple happens to be two lovely young men who are really married yes. in real life. I mean, that... But I have a, I have a straight son in the military who... I fix up as well. I'm I'm very successful <laughs> with matchmaking, much more so than in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Are you a good matchmaker in real life? No, I'm terrible. <laughs> Nobody has ever ended up with anybody. They never like my ideas, and I, I kind of decided that I'm never doing that again because it frustrates me that people are so 
ready to dismiss somebody that I think is wonderful. <laughs> exactly. Okay, we want to have a little so fun. So like, forget about it. Be single. <laughs> we want to have a little fun with you before you go. We want to play a game we're calling Friend, Friend or, or foe. foe. You're going to weigh in on oh, your cool. opinion on some hot topics. Okay? Whether, okay, Friend or Foe. Zoom dating. Uh, not for me, no. Foe. <laughs> foe. All right. Okay, what about Hanukkah bushes? Friends. Okay. <laughs> Watching your old shows or movies when they come on. Yes or no? Uh, friends. Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, we already know the answer. What about cutting your own hair or bangs? bangs. Friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Living in sweatpants. Yeah. You know, I just wanted to tell you that uh, the movie airs at 12, on 12-12 12, 12 at 8 p.m. I hope everybody watches it. They're going to really love it. And on the same day, Cancer Schmancer is launching its big uh, health edu series. And all you have to do is go to cancerschmancer.org and you can sign on and it's free. And everybody that's ever seen it from year to year, and every year I curate the most amazing doctors, they, it blows their mind. Awesome. So I urge everybody, early in these times, to get some really helpful outside-of-the-box uh, tips on how to be healthy. Okay, we awesome. will, Fran. Thank, thank you You so can much. catch Fran in the Christmas setup again this Saturday on Lifetime. Be well. Mm-hmm, okay.